This is the follow-up video for ECU E39 uh, Canvas programming. When you use the regular programming in the other video and you failed for whatever reason and you erase the flash and the ECU no longer boots up and when it does not boot up, it cannot enter to the, the Canvas mode, then you uh, this ECU is bricked. Uh, when it's through bricked, uh, you need to open this case and we enter special mode called BAM mode, boot assistant mode. Uh, there is a recovery mode and so the server wires you can uh, enter special mode and we can still program this ECU. So here is the joint here. We need to put a resistor and uh, either 150 ohm or 200 ohm resistor. In here I'm using the 150 ohm resistor join this two paths. And also there is a boot config one needs to be soldered uh, to, to ground here. I'm going to show you this in the uh, picture here. So to make the proper connection power, we this is the same as we did uh, the, in the other video. So first let's take a look of the canvas. Canvas go to the eighth row of the top. One, two, three. So these, yeah, then the power uh, needs to go here. Yeah, ground go here, but you know, ground, if I put ground here, I cannot flip over. So now I'm going to uh, flip over and connect the ground. You just click to connect the ground here. And now we have the ground. Here is the Ulink NT, and here is the NCP2515 and with the, the proper jumper here to terminate properly. And in the software here, uh, in the software here, we will look at the canvas here, canvas, and this is selected and uh, we can, okay, the very important thing is the password. So the password is important to be able to enter the debug on. Otherwise, if the password does not match for security reason, the CPU will not enter to the BAM mode. And the two ways to get the password, one is we have read the shadow. So here we have a shadow, we know the password is FB13. Zero 05 and you can load the shadow memory as we did, you know, and then you can check this button Say I want to check this from the shadow and you will get this one in case you didn't have it uh, there is an algorithm to uh, get the the password from the serial number so let me show you Here is the back of the the ECU and there is a serial number at the bottom here we can type the sign in to generate the serial, uh, the password. This only works for E39 and E39A9. Maybe in the future we can uh, find the pattern for the uh, other password. So if you do forget the password, let's say I'm I forgot this password. I I forgot to read the shadow, and I don't have the password, for example. And but I have the the. Um, I have the serial number, so let me copy and paste because I have write, written down here. If I have the serial number, I can also generate this password. So if you can get the password from two source. One is by read the shadow. When we before we program the ECU using regular mode, you always read the the, uh, the shadow and get it from the shadow, or you can get it from a serial number. And there is a relationship between the serial number and the password. So once you, it's ready, then the order is matter. Okay, so we first need to power on the ECU. So I power on, wait about, you know, five seconds or 10 seconds. Then I will power on the, the uh, Ulink NT. And then we can start click detect. And now you see we can enter the debug on. So here, 400 uh, kilobit per second clock speed 
of camera speed is used for in the band mode. And once we have this thing, we can just start programming. We have we have done yesterday. So this is yesterday's read. And we can, okay, we can try to erase first. So let's say I want to erase it. And the programming method is almost identical to the regular mode. And you can do erase, program, uh, read, same thing. Same thing if I want to read the shadow, I can do so as well, you know, read the shadow. So I can do the blank check. Uh, sorry, I need to do the blank check for this thing. And notice the speed is a little bit slower. You know, yesterday we got about 33 kilobyte per second. This is about 25 kilobyte per second, uh, simply because the canvas speed is slower. Don't worry, this is lots of results. When you do get the brick, you need to recover it and the speed does not matter that much. The critical part for the BAM mode is the password. You need to get the password correct. Otherwise, you can click on, click on, and never get to the debugger mode. So password, password, password. In the future, I might uh, try to do the JTAG method to program this device, but currently, probably there is no need to do so since we have a very reliable way to recover the ECU. A uh, JTAG method is much, much faster. You know, you probably take about five seconds to read the entire content. By the way, you need a good 12 volt source for this ECU. Uh, it draws a lot of uh, power from the 12 volt. So I'm using a piece, modify the PC power to get the 12 volts. Here we can confirm this uh, flash can be erased. Now we can do a programming. Uh, The E39A band mode is almost identical, but the joint points will be, the soldering points will be different. I will make the uh, diagram available for, on my website. So here we have achieved about 23 kilobytes per second of programming on the band mode. The next ECU we are going to work on probably will be E78, which has similar CPU on, uh, of, as the, this one. You can also see this LED blinks when to when do the programming. It's uh, very important to watch this activity. If it stops in the middle, something gets wrong and just don't try to touch it, it, leave it as is for about, you know, two minutes, it will be programmed. So programming passed two minutes and 11 seconds. And let's do a verification. This will take another two minutes to verify. So the entire process to recover this ECU is about, you know, five minutes. But once you open, I think it will take you more time to sort those pins uh, compared to the, the program itself. The compare is an extra step to, uh, to make sure it does program properly. Uh, actually, it's, uh, if you are comfortable 
this step could be skipped because we I have not yet found a single case that program and compare failed. Almost done. Let's check. Yeah, compare. Okay, so in case you have a bricked ECU uh, and you want to recover it, you can do so, or you can clone it, whatever. The bam mode is your last resort. You need to open the case. This case is not uh, very easy to open. However, it's, if you do brick it, you can cover it with the boot assistant mode. Uh, E39A will work the same way, just to use a different soldering joints here. 